Apparently, lonely men on the internet are saying drizzle drizzle as a response to sprinkle sprinkle, which is like that lonely. whole women empowerment movement online started by the sprinkle sprinkle lady. I actually don't know her name. Uh, I mean no disrespect by it. All the power to her. Keep doing what you're doing. If it's teaching women to take their power back, I'm all for it. But it So wait a minute. You don't know anything about sprinkle sprinkle and you don't know anything about drizzle drizzle. But all you heard about sprinkle sprinkle is it's supposedly women's empowerment keep on going but when men come back with satire even about drizzle drizzle then it's oh you guys are lonely and you guys are having problems getting women you see how dumb that sounds this is why drizzle drizzle is in effect because women like you don't understand that the sprinkle sprinkle doesn't even make a whole lot of sense not at all in response to this 4b movement where women are deciding they don't want men they don't need men they're right. just gonna boycott men altogether right. these men are now saying drizzle drizzle and i feel like i'm being pulled into it because they're starting to comment that my comment section of my videos simply because i'm a woman and here's my thing about it no it's because you're saying silly stuff like this uneducated commented takes like this that's why they're doing that how are you not embarrassed with saying drizzle drizzle how are you All not embarrassed being uneducated? Is that you can't make it rough terrain. Yikes. That's what drizzling is. When water's falling from the sky, but it's not even worth calling it rain. It's just a drizzle. Like it's not even raining outside enough to water your plants, but it's drizzling enough to dirty your car after you washed it. Drizzle, drizzle. What do you think sprinkle sprinkle is? It would be the same thing. You guys really have to get the context and understanding of drizzle. When you go into Starbucks, and you ask for a drizzle of something. They drizzle it on top. So in that vernacular, drizzle would be more than sprinkle. What are you talking about right now? Drizzle, drizzle, because we don't know what it really feels like when she's- Yikes. That's the one. That's, That's it? it. You guys want to stick with that? So I wonder if it's just my timeline. It is just covered with the drizzle, drizzle content. And to be honest, y'all, I kind of knew that men were fed up in real life because mm -hmm. of like my male friends. Mm -hmm. But to see it on this platform mm -hmm. and these men are like complaining and stuff. And a lot of their complaints are pretty valid. Mm -hmm. But they be going through it like how we be going through it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel bad for us. Like, what is the solution though? Sprinkle, sprinkle and drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. What is the solution to all of this? Respect, common decency, all of these stupid standards, not saying that you can't have any, but these ridiculous standards and having a common understanding and appreciation for men instead of getting on the internet like the last young lady and just talking plain stupid. I think that's what y'all needs to start working towards because clearly we all out here struggling and it's rough for all of us. What the fuck is the solution? is embarrassing for black men well i'll hop in then and i'll say the same thing i am in my soft guy era now it's Appreciate embarrassing it. for all men that we're holding our standard the exact same way that you have a standard for us drizzle, drizzle. okay that's the woman playbook they'll either call you insecure they'll call you gay, which is homophobic don't do that or they'll try to shame you why do women do that because that's their internal playbook they have no they can't actually make men do anything physically because nope. obviously we're stronger so this is called verbal mishandling if i can say it that way and it's something that these types of women resort to all the time. I'm going to make you feel bad and I'm going to publicly shame you. But just because I don't put my hands on you, it should be OK for me to talk all this trash and you sit there and take it. Emotionally undisciplined, emotionally unintelligent, and it's not going to con continue to fly. Drizzle, drizzle. Throughout history, that's how they've gotten to control men. However, since y'all wanted equal rights and equal pay so bad, and now that you've gotten it, it's only fair that we do we go 50-50 in the relationship. Right. Which at this point in the video <laughs> would invoke you saying, oh, like you're broke, you're a broke, insecure guy, <laughs> naturally. But I don't know if you could tell, that is my water view. According exactly. to y'all, I'm a high value man. Like I'm what y'all want. You want a six figure man over six one that is well endowed. <laughs> but the thing is, Asking for 50-50, like if you guys are like, oh, I'd love to go 50-50 with a man, that's fine. But the thing is y'all are asking for everything provided for, which is, you know, a guy like me could do it. Most Got guys it. can't do it, but Got I could it. do it. No but problem. imagine if a guy said that, a guy, like, <laughs> and it just speaks to the ego that y'all have, that y'all think you're all worth a guy paying for everything when you guys make the exact same because that's what you wanted. Man.
women. We wanted to get paid and get rich and to get married. And also to take this money and start your business. Nobody in the city makes this pay for us. You don't reach for your wallet for nothing. In the presence of men. They just hate women. We do not go above and beyond for a man. Okay? You let them do going, you let them do all the going above and beyond for you. The only thing women have asked of men is to be treated better. Get my money, get my school paid for. That's it. And some new clothes. No, nothing that was materialistic. But what are you bring to the table, Mr. Nelson? I'm not no way for you. If I was, I'm putting extra food on that bill so you can give me extra. Got it. <laughs> what emotionally I would never give my all anybody must be my children supporting caring and they still ain't getting a hundred percent okay oh nothing that was materialistic but okay. if it's ugly maybe imagine yourself spending his money no nothing that was materialistic but imagine him taking you shopping that's the little key that so this is my imagine him taking you shopping look no nothing that was materialistic but like, I know something you don't know. No, nothing that was materialistic. Find another way. That means another man. Supporting, caring. If you don't like old men, then focus on ugly. All right? Ugly the money. It's right up front. No, nothing that was materialistic. But take down your credit card number, sir. Then you that. No, nothing that was materialistic. But sit for me. I'd say I like a somewhat wealthy man. No, nothing that was materialistic. Let's see, oh, you're so my name. No, nothing that was materialistic. Worry about feeling. Worry about. Nothing that was materialistic. No, nothing that was materialistic. But me supporting, caring. That men today want to get chased. Okay, focus on men. Emotionally supporting, caring. No, nothing that was materialistic. A woman can be poor one day, the next day a millionaire. That's how simple it is for us. That's why they're mad. Nothing that was materialistic, but all I keep hearing about is materialistic shit is going. Exactly. And that's why Drizzle Drizzle has to continue, unfortunately, in 2024. We've tried in, tried in 2023, 2022, 2021, and all the other years previously. We try to tell women like this, hey, you're doing a little bit too much. Don't mind taking care of you, but maybe some gratitude, maybe a thank you. It's basic human decency. That's the least you can do. Okay, but as a human, the least you can do is say thank you. It's that easy. It, the least you can do is be appreciative, supportive, be peaceful, be kind, like you're asking men to do for you. But here you are talking silly on this internet. Drizzle, drizzle. I was going to tell the 4G Pilbaros that drizzle, drizzle doesn't make sense unless you're literally being drizzled on. Because sprinkle, sprinkle is a verb. If you're going to steal from us, you're stealing everything, babe, okay? To be sprinkled upon is to be gifted. They hate it. They hate it. They just can't stand it. And this is what gets them. Oh, just that's corny. That's what they say. That's what men, exactly what men been trying to say about Sprinkle Sprinkle. That's kind of corny. And it's also manipulative. Can you guys please stop doing that? When a guy makes something out of a joke, that's dumb. If you're going to do it, then do it this way. That's your opinion, honey. Keep your opinion to yourself. We don't want it. Just say you're not intelligent and move on. It's giving bottom of the class. What's wrong with you? So you are being drizzled upon? Sounds suspicious. So if you have not seen the whole soft guy, hear you. drizzle drizzle community, it is the funniest thing to me. But let me tell you the funniest part is that it's universal. Mm -hmm. And yes, black man came up with it. I believe his name is Scarface Mark, I believe. And um, but when I take it in white boys, them pasta and lobsters. <laughs> They done ran with it. We appreciate you. Is this a woman gaslighting me in my comments and being homophobic? Is if it? You're a grokey, just say that. It's giving projecting. Before you send me that That's text message. Literally that drizzle, simple. Drizzle. And strike three, don't even start with hands or any of that BS. 
Do not start my day with a message without first sending me a cash, cash out notification app. that there's funds in my account. If you want to, you would. you would. If you want me in your life, you would. I think the part that women are really pissed at is the comment section with all the male supporters. <laughs> <laughs> Don't date down when kings. You're not being pandered to. Oh, y'all can't stand it. When you're not the center of attention, you cannot stand it. But let me tell you, these the, the pasta and lobster, these white boys, they said, oh, oh, you thought you were gonna come away with that? Miss, expand your options. Oh, I'm just not gonna do I'm gonna expand my options. They said you can you can expand all you want. You can come away with that. Drizzle, drizzle. We don't we don't take that shit up. Exactly. Oh, it's just this and it's just now I'm telling you, these women across all races, all ethnicities, at least in the United States, watching the same TV shows, getting the same entertainment and getting the same type of stupid. Not all of them, just these types of women. Drizzle, drizzle. You know what it's giving? It's giving birthday dinners aren't a problem. It's giving we're going to go on vacation and we're still going to come back as friends. <laughs> That's the support it's giving. And you cannot stand it. But then you'll be like, well, you're a pick me. I'm like, hey, pick me nothing. They doing it. The problem is they're supporting each other. Yep. You guys don't do that. You, you support all kinds of whether right or wrong or indifferent. They are supporting this thing. And y'all can't stand that. Y'all cannot stand the fact that they have a community of agreement. And you don't like that. Have a community, but in the way that we want it. You men are lonely. You guys don't have any friends. You guys need to go out. True. We got it. Men bond over silly stuff. They bond over just, I'm just messing around. We're just shooting around. We just, we just roasted each other. Hey man, let's go on a fishing trip. Let's go on a hunting trip. Hey, let's go over here and shoot some hoops. You guys don't like that type of stuff. And so when men don't do the things that you like, how you want it to be done, then all of a sudden they're feminine and they must not be a masculine, manly man and you don't want it and it gives you the ick. Drizzle, drizzle. Continue doing what you're doing, boys. Against y'all. <laughs> don't like it. Got a white boy on my roster. He be feeding me pasta and lobster. No, no more. <laughs> After a lot of time and consideration, I've now decided to enlist and take my talents to the soft guy era. Appreciate I'm done it. Done with the bare minimum. Deal's already done. Contract's been signed. I'm tall, I'm dark skinned, I'm athletic, and I just can't be giving out this sexy chocolate for free. As if you're not should, putting King. anything in my hands, I'm not putting anything in you. And on to better news, I've already found myself a provider woman. Absolutely. I got her sending me haircut money. You got to start small before working your way Absolutely. to those big bills. Next, we're going to get some gas money, okay? Drizzle, drizzle. Rise and so shine, So funny to see men talking about soft boy area, whatever. We don't want to provide anymore. We don't want to pay the bills anymore. Finally, because I always wanted that type of control. I sign always wanted that control. And trust me, if that happens, I'm going to come with requirements. If I'm going to pay all the bills, you must not cheat. Like, you must stay. Hey, as long as you paying my bills within the first month, I think we're good. And I won't be controlled. I won't be manipulated. I won't be gaslighted verbally, emotionally. None of that mishandled by you. So as soon <laughs> as I get what I need, I'm going to stay as long as I need to to get that. But as soon as I get it, I'm bouncing and I'm going to take half drizzle drizzle faithful because one even one flirty one text message you getting kicked out oh, you're going to become homeless you're going back to your mother house I'm strong and independent yes that's it i don't care you must do every single thing i say every single stuff i say every work every type of labor in the house mm -hmm. is going to be fall on you right and don't don't even say no because you're going to get kicked out and you ain't paying no bills sign me up the house is mine so Sign me up. I'm just going to hire a maid with your money and a nanny with your money and a chef with your money. Sign me up. The house is going to be spotless and I'm going to be there at the door when you come in with your slippers, favorite glass of wine. Why not? Girls, y'all shouldn't complain because this is amazing because we now have the control. We can choose what man we want. 
when they stay, when they leave, when mm -hmm. they go, what they do. They I was willing to invest in me physically, financially, emotionally, religiously, like all aspects. He wanted to make me a better woman for him. Right. Well, he boosted my self-esteem and my well-being so much mm -hmm. that I thought that I could do better than him. Mm. And now fast forward, I am now post dealing with a narcissist. Mm. I now understand that not all men have your best intention at heart. Mm. Not all men will invest in you and not all men will uplift you. So when you get the opportunity to date such a man, do not let it go. That's a shame. Drizzle, drizzle. You know who I know that a lot of dudes are just broke and angry? Because mm -hmm. the things that they say and they argue about, my girlfriends and I would never say to each other. Okay. I've noticed that a lot of these gender word topics are less about the dynamics between men and women and more about common decency and etiquette. Right. There shouldn't even be a question about who pays the bill. If you ask someone out and request their time, then you should be courteous enough to cover the check. Right. My friends and I have taken each other out to dinner plenty of times. But here's where you're wrong. If you take your girlfriends out to dinner, then you guys don't have a problem paying for it. But if you take a man out to dinner, then it's the man is still paying for it because now I want to be chased. I went up to you and I approached you, but I still want to be chased. I, I want to be pursued. I'm a woman after all. And all of this stuff reverses around in your brain, which, by the way, I don't have a problem paying. But it's just all of this stuff. One thing here, one thing there and another thing here until it's all my way and men don't want that men are at, men are saying well when is it my time to get something out of this relationship oh what you get out of this relationship is just to be in my presence excuse me girl get the heck out my face drizzle drizzle times and i'm sure that when you're out with your homeboys and one of them is hungry mm -hmm. and he doesn't have the money to cover it you'll pay for it for them right if not you're cruel or just broke because that's just how it is when you have money. You typically want to spend it on the people and experiences that you care about. I've had I girls take me out to concerts, festivals, clubs, all because they with me and want me to be there. Mm -hmm. We women have no problems pampering each other or our men if we have the money like that. And the same is true for men who have money. But it don't matter if the man has the money or not. He's expected to pay. That's it. Well, if, we, if I have it, then I'll do it. It doesn't matter if a man has it or not. You're still expecting him to do it. And you're not even going to help him out with it. They are quick to spend it without argument. The only time that I've argued with a dude that did have the money is when I worked at this restaurant that added an automatic 20% tip to every check. And this guy was not having it. He argued me down about how wrong it is to force someone to tip. And I'm like, dude, this is not my restaurant. I just work here, but I can get you a manager if you want. So the manager comes over, he explains his gripe, and she's like, okay, whatever, takes the tip off of the bill. He's like, I promise you, I'll give you a tip, it's just about the principle of it. You know this man left me a $100 tip on a $60 bill just to prove his point? Exactly. <laughs> That's why Shira says not to pay these other guys any attention. They are in struggle mode, they're in survival mode. Anything that they say- Ma'am, you missed the point. Don't force me to do what you want me to do. It's the same exact thing that these, a lot of these women are doing to men, trying to force them into a box in some hole in a dark closet somewhere, only to be pulled out whenever the woman feels like it. And a man is saying, no, absolutely not. Just like you have your goals, ambitions, dreams, things that you wanna do, I as a man have the same thing. And you're not about to tell me what I can and can't do off of some dumb standard that you came up with because you were watching Golden Girls. Bye. Drizzle, drizzle. A is coming from that struggle. Because money isn't just a physical thing. It's an energy. It makes you feel free and powerful. <sighs> and you can do whatever you want. So who wants to spend time arguing over who pays for what when you could be spending it on having a good time and enjoying yourselves? Anyway, the people that get it, get it. And the people who don't, won't. So I say we spend our time focusing on the guys who do get it mm -hmm. and do know how to treat a woman right. And if any of them are in the comments below... Call me. Okay, yes. Drizzle Drizzle came from the Sprinkle Sprinkle lady mm -hmm. that was a, a while back. Like she would basically, her expectations of 
what she wanted to do when she was dating. Like, you're not going to take me to just normal restaurant. Right. You need to take me to a high-end restaurant, sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you're going to open car doors for me, sprinkle, sprinkle. So it was... It, that's where the drizzle drizzle came from. Right. And it basically started from one of these incel alpha dudes. Gotta be and incel. so they started making all of these videos that is like, women are going to, you know, I'm not going to pay for dinner. Drizzle, drizzle. I'm not going to open doors for you. Women are going to come to me. Women are going to come to my house. So they kind of, mm-hmm. you know, kind of redid the whole sprinkle, sprinkle thing and mm-hmm. use drizzle, drizzle. And, You know, women, of course, went into the comment sections because the whole point of, you know, this behavior from men is why women are rejecting men. Uh Why the whole 4B thing is, you know, these were the men that were using these behaviors and saying these nasty things to women are the whole reason why we're in this situation. So they think that it was a real gotcha because... You know, they saw that women were reacting the same way that men were reacting to Sprinkle Sprinkle, not realizing that it's because women were reacting that way because this is the behavior. These are the types of things that men have always done. They've Mm. always treated us with disrespect. Always. So it's all of the like kind of incels, alpha guys that think it's a real. Let's let's just go off of simple statistics. Always is close to like 90 percent. A hundred percent. Right. Let's say 80. The divorce rate is somewhere around 50%. So even if half of the people are getting divorced, half of the people are in it somewhere. Let's say a third of people, a third of the population are in happy marriages. Somebody get the statistics for me on that one. And it's always men are doing you wrong. With all these women out here talking about my man does this for me, he does that for me. So men have always been disrespectful. Come on, guys. Women are in jail just like men are. They're involved in crimes and activities that they shouldn't be just like men are. Women cheat at about the same rate that men do. Literally, statistically speaking. But it's always the men disrespecting. You see how dumb this sounds? Drizzle, drizzle. Gotcha. You know, like, I showed you, didn't I? I showed you. When, you know, women are like, well, you know, it was a good joke. It was, it was, it was a good joke. And, you know, most other men are like, you know, you just look ridiculous and pathetic. Most but, other um, men? you know, okay. good joke. All right. You know, everyone's like, good joke. You know, congrats. You, you pulled one over. And, but it's the, the men that are telling themselves like what masters of the universe they are because they were able to, you know, get women to, you know, react to them or whatever it is they think they have. Mm -hmm. And now they just assume that any woman who comes in and still reacts to their drizzle drizzle, we're all like broke women. We're all women that don't have men. We're all unmarried women. We're all single moms. We're all, you know, we're all the things that they would say. So it actually was just a funny little joke. But they have really told themselves that they are masters of the universe and that they they did a thing. And, she still doesn't but get it. Even the simple fact that most people in my comments will go, "What is drizzle, drizzle?" I don't never even heard of drizzle, drizzle. Is the simple fact that it really wasn't a thing. I could say the same thing about literally anything. People don't know about basketball. People don't know about football. You have a flair for the dramatic. For, for going to the extreme. People didn't even know it existed. People in my comment section, that's the problem. It's because they don't hover around you. Things don't revolve around you. Then it must not be true. It must not exist. So it doesn't even matter. That's the problem. Even when these men are in the comment section, along with these women talking about, oh, you sound broke. You sound bare minimum. It's dumb. It's that's that's the point of it. That's what women are doing in the comments. When a man has something to say back to maybe a video like this was like, well, hold on. This doesn't make sense. If I follow this logic, then what about this? Oh, you sound broke, bare minimum. If you don't have the money, then just don't date. That's the point. Men are flipping it and doing the reverse to get you to see how ridiculous it sounds. It's a joke. It's all fun and games. Nobody's taking it seriously, dude, but you don't get it. It's still going over your head and I can see why 
because this seems to be a part of your personality to go way off the deep end and not really use a whole bunch of critical thought to really understand the gravity of what's being said. And it's just a joke. But at the end of the day, drizzle, drizzle. And they actually do look pretty pathetic. Instead of just right. saying, ha, we got a joke. We got a joke on you. We got one over on you. They are, be they will So you want us to stop. And say, yeah, it's all the women that are just pathetic. You know, like treat us the same way that they were treating us for the reason that we did reject men and are having the 4B movement. It just, I don't get it. It's a drizzle, joke. Drizzle. A lot of y'all girls are clearly showing you have no sense of humor. Oh, yeah. The joke is going right over your head. The fact is that y'all have been saying the same ridiculous stuff online. And when you say it as a woman, you don't see nothing wrong with it. Stupid. But hearing those same ridiculous statements come out of a man's mouth. Now, all of a sudden, you take him back and you offend it. It's 2024 and I honestly don't understand whether or not you're a woman or a man. Why anybody would not be living a soft life. Mm hmm. I don't know why anybody would be aspiring for a hard one. <laughs> like, make it make sense. <laughs> it's called a partnership for a reason. Yep. Because two people are supposed to be coming together so that they can do for one another equally. You pour into their cup just like they pour into yours. But y'all turn this into a selfish act of you trying to gain something from somebody else and benefit from somebody else. Meanwhile, not caring what they get in return from you. Exactly. And as long as you're going into a situation like that, you will always lose because you cannot use people like that. You cannot go into a situation and only thinking about the ways that you can benefit from it and neglect the other person involved in it. Which is what they're doing. At the end of the day, if the girls want to sprinkle, sprinkle, the fellas can drizzle, drizzle. I'm pro everybody being in a soft life era because Talk there's no reason why you should be living a hard life. I don't recommend that for anybody. Trizzle, trizzle. Stress is the number one killer. I don't recommend anybody to be out here intentionally living a hard life. I don't subscribe to anybody getting with a person who's going to make life hard on them. Right? You could do all bad by yourself. Why in the world would you enter into a relationship with somebody who's going to put you through a hard life? Doesn't make sense. Date wisely. All this boy on boy love is so exciting. Stand your ground. We already know you like each other and not us. I'm a woman lover. The shirt doesn't lie. Most of my content has been about loving women, which is why it really hurts my feelings to see you try to shame men because you're not just shaming me, you're shaming men as well. Like you're making fun of people for being, this is homophobic. On top of that, these are my DMs. You don't have to worry about the boy on boy love for me. Trust me, I'm good. These are just the ones that I haven't looked at. And there's hidden requests. And then on TikTok, I have hundreds. I support women. It. I make content relating to women. I just also support logically sound arguments from men. Logically they say sound. that men don't receive their first flowers until they die. Me personally, every time I open Hinge, I have a bouquet full of roses waiting for me. I'm always going to make women loving and supporting content. I will. You don't have to worry about it. I just don't like women shaming men when men are busting their eye to provide because it's internal. We want to do it. And the worst. But if you guys take half the money, then most men are not going to be able to finance. That and then you're running across different groups of people you think it's just a knock to men but then you have friends that live a different lifestyle and you're not you're trying that you say that you don't have a problem with and you're shaming them you're insulting them oh you must be this you must be that and then when somebody calls you one oh no that, that's not what i meant take accountability for what you just said you're trying to insult somebody you're trying to use it as a as a put down trying to degrade somebody and they called you on the carpet. But women like this will never take accountability. And that's why men are not taking you out. Drizzle, drizzle. Actually support you wholeheartedly. And instead of appreciating men for that sacrifice so that you guys can work and do what you want, instead of men being the sole earner and provider, you guys throw it back in their face it. and say, screw you guys. It's hard for me to support that. Also, Mark and Goodyear of them are funny as hell. Anyways, that shirt, I'm selling different variants of it next week. So follow my TikTok, follow my IG. I'm going to do a drop on both. We're also going to add provider men's shirts and we're going to have stuff for women. <laughs> the woman one is crazy. It's going to be, it's going to be so funny. Hey, what do you want him to do? What? Hi? <laughs> woman, sit down. Are you standing up? <laughs> this is not, a, we're not in a town hall about potholes. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> yeah, I'm too loud for you. Yeah, exactly.
know. And then how does that feel? Normal? Does that feel... I'll try to find the tone that works for you. White woman standing up at my show. I'll sit down. Okay, that's... Sit down. I want to be pleasant aesthetically to everyone here, so I will... <laughs> huh? Okay, good. I just... That was... That was an interesting tactic. You're back up. Okay, what's up? What else? Too much swearing? Okay. I like that you're continuing the process of rising to the occasion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, I don't want to stand up anymore, but uh, okay, still standing. Not sure what's happening. It's like whack-a-mole, but it's a problem. Uh, <laughs> sounds better. Okay, good. I'm glad you're happy. You uh, single? <laughs> Poor bastard. Uh... Exactly, dude. What are you doing? What kind of entitlement is that? To stand up in the, somebody, in the middle of somebody's show because, oh, you're too loud. Girl, leave. Sit at the back of the room. Stand outside and listen to the show. What are you talking about? That man has no control over the sound. You need to be talking to the sound man. What's wrong with you right now? Did your party want to grant over a hundred million dollars in regulatory relief to the mainstream media? We don't want to give uh, any what? tax dollars to the mainstream media. We, our belief is that the mainstream media and all. Decision, then, uh, Let him talk. Decision to grant regulatory okay. relief. So I'll, I'll answer your question. Uh, the media that is bought and paid for. Which where are you from, by the way? Which which outlet are you in? Which outlet? <laughs> Which outlet? Canadian Press. Ah, okay. Canadian Press. <laughs> so you're talking about tax dollars for media. Is, isn't CBC your biggest... Isn't, no, I, I can answer. I asked regulatory yeah, relief. Yeah, you want to answer? Why want to grant want? $100 million dollars in Sorry. regulatory relief Why are you getting to the loud? mainstream media? When would you like me to respond? Okay, good. Okay, great. So, of course, you are a tax-funded media outlet and uh, spreading Justin Trudeau's message. Why did you and, 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 and so you're, you're, you're interrupting me again. You're interrupting me again. I am answering the question. Your, do you regret uh, on, granting a hundred million dollars in regulatory relief to the mainstream media? Your question is false. So if you can allow me to correct your falsehoods, then we can, we can answer the question directly. So false Canadian conservatives do not believe in giving tax dollars to media outlets. That's Justin Trudeau. That's Justin Trudeau. That's Justin Trudeau. Okay, if you, if, you, if you don't want me to answer the question, I'll move on to someone else. You're, you're. I don't know what's going on in Canada, but let this man speak. You man, yes, this man. You know what it is. Let him speak. Come on now. For a tax, you're a you tax like funded the mouthpiece to the PMO. That's the reality. Question you commit I'm to trying to. to I'm trying to, but you're heckling. Are you going? Are you going to let me answer the question, or are you just going no. to heckle on behalf of Justin Trudeau? So our our party does not Dang. support tax dollars for media outlets because that's when we end up with biased media like you, Dang. who come here and articulate the PMO talking points rather than uh, delivering uh, real news to the Canadian people. Justin Trudeau gave Bell Media and other media tax dollars supposedly to protect media jobs, and then what happened? They all got laid off. So the, so the, the supposed <laughs> justification for giving, giving Bell all this money was that it was going to save media jobs. Well, they all got fired. So I guess that wasn't the real reason Dang. for giving tax dollars to the media. The real reason was for him to buy support from the media, which is what it actually did. So we believe that media should be driven by readership, viewership, and listenership. And that's what allows it to, to represent the Canadian people rather than taking marching orders from the PMO. <laughs> you guys don't want to have kids? You're going to adopt? What color? God. Is there like a preference? Oh, God. Like if they gave you a white one, we'd be like, oh, this is awesome. And then if they gave you a black one, you'd be like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But technically, you're buying a black person. I just want to let you know. I just, you think you're doing the right thing, but Dang. you're really getting back to your roots. Dang. You know what I mean? <laughs> you are a skinhead. No, I'm just joking. Stupid, guys, man. guys, Stupid. we have to chill. Someone explain to me why so many women get pissed about the dudes in their DMs, even though they're posting half naked pictures on the internet. Y'all will be practically naked with your cheeks out, your out, full face of makeup, filters. You'll edit your photos so you look slimmer with a fat ass, bigger boot. Edit your photos to not have cellulite. 
You'll do all of this stuff and post it on the internet, basically cat calling men, but then get mad at the dudes that are in your DM. And I can almost guarantee you that the majority of you, if y'all went missing, nobody would find you because you don't look like the person in the photos. Take off all of Dang. the makeup, take off all of the filters, Dang. show your natural self and see how many dudes are in your DMs then. Some of y'all want attention so bad and it shows. I ain't gonna lie, they probably still gonna be in there. <laughs> but not only that, you will do all of this for one guy to hit you up. The one guy that you're trying to get his attention rather than just being classy and initiating conversation with the guy that you actually want, you'll be lustful for a bunch of dirty dudes in your DMs. Make that make sense. And then you consider yourself a high value woman. You cannot be mad at the dudes in your DMs if you're posting half naked pictures because you know exactly what you're doing when you're doing it. Yep. And you're doing it for attention. So it's stupid to play dumb like, oh my God, I have all of these dudes in my DMs. And let's not forget, a lot of y'all put your value in the dudes that are in your DMs and those men aren't worth it. Stop cat calling men and posting half-naked pictures if you don't expect them to slide in your DMs. Okay, bye. This is why a lot of these women are in the position that they're in in the first place, is because they keep on making bad decisions. They keep on advertising themselves in a certain way, and they don't understand why they keep on getting the same type of attention. Doesn't matter if he's quote-unquote high value. Doesn't matter if he's a homeless guy. You're getting the same attention because you're advertising the same way. And then you're saying that, all men, doesn't matter the age range, doesn't matter the socioeconomic class or status, they're all the same. You continue to advertise to the basic instinct and understanding of a man and then wonder why a man is approaching you that way. You must be open for business if you get what I mean. And that's unfortunate because even if you were presenting yourself a certain way and i'm not saying that you got to have like a turtleneck on and stuff like that but presentation is everything you guys should know that because that's what you want from men not saying that there aren't men out here that go out and say stupid stuff and do stupid stuff i got it but it should be said that you need to learn how to present yourself and that be the thing you take accountability for but of course if you're not going to do that and you're going to continue to be silly then men, on the other hand, are going to say, you know what, we're not taking that. We've got to also go ahead and raise our standards. And not only do we have to raise our standards, we have to be a little bit more vocal about it. That's why in 2024, this drizzle drizzle thing has actually taken off, despite or contrary to popular belief. But that's just my opinion. To the next video, I'm out. <laughs>